everyone, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm wrapping up Booktubeathon and the biannual Bibliothon, and I was pretty successful this past week, with the exception of everything social, which I did not do. So if you had a YouTube video that came out during last week, or I didn't watch it because I didn't watch any YouTube videos, and I think I only tweeted twice. So when it comes to the social aspects of these two readathons, I completely failed. But when it comes to the reading challenges and like the quality of book that I read, it was good. I hit every challenge for both readathons with the exception of Booktubeathon's read seven books. I did not do that. I finished four. The first book I read was Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. This book was absolutely fantastic. It's the second Agatha Christie book that I have read. The first one was And Then There Were None. Um, I know this is not the first book in the series following this investigator, but it's the one I happen to have on my shelf and it I think is one of her most famous works. It is exactly what it says it is. There is a murder on the Orient Express and the investigator, Hercule, I guess you would call him, um, has to figure out who did it. Um, I love the format of the book, how it's the facts, then all the things that could have happened, and then interviews, and then it was like well put together. I gave it five stars on Goodreads, but really it would be like four and a half stars. I kind of guessed who did it because, you know, she is the queen of mystery and, and her plots have been used by so many different other people but that's the only reason and I loved it and it was really really good and it was a quick read and I highly recommend. Then I read The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers and this book was absolutely fantastic. This book is also really the title. It is a bunch of humans and non-humans in a ship and they are making their way to a planet to do a job punching holes in space and you would think that that would be boring but the amount of people that they meet and cultures they encounter and you know just the planets themselves everything was just so interesting and so much fun and it like yeah, there's no words for this. This was absolutely fantastic. I can't even believe I put it off as long as I did. Yeah, this was a well-deserved five-star book. <laughs> then I read Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi, and this is the one I read outside. And it is a graphic memoir about her childhood growing up in Iran. I learned a lot, to be honest. Uh, Iran is not a country that we learn about at school or anything like that. And I learned more from the introduction than I have in my entire life about Iran. So this was definitely an eye-opening book. It was good, a bit sad, as you would kind of expect, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Then I read The Tomorrow Code by Brian Faulkner, and this one I didn't really like very much, which is kind of sad because it had all the right buzzwords for me going in, like time travel and cryptic things and possible death of the entire human race. And you would think that I would really have enjoyed this, um, but I, it was it was only okay for me. And I don't really even know what the problem was. Maybe it was that I came off of two such absolutely fantastic books and so this one um, just didn't do it for me. Uh, this one it follows uh, Rebecca and Tane and they uncode a message that ends up being from themselves from the future and they don't necessarily heed all of the advice and there's this plague that happened. It's just, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't for me and I feel kind of bad. I really wanted to like it. So this was kind of ended my readathon on not so high a note. I did also get a touch of the way through uh, Gemina 
uh, and then I put this down because right after the readathon ended, I had to work my two 12 hour shifts in a row. Uh, and so this was, is not easy to take with me and get in and out of because the format is so weird that it takes me a minute to get into reading that. But I'll be finishing that another time. So overall, it was fun. I read a lot. I really prioritized it and didn't get a whole lot of other things done. Um, and I look forward to participating again in the future. So I will talk to y'all again later. Bye.